Today we're standing in front of our VH800 machine and I want to talk to you a little bit about blasting with a wet blast cabinet. Pressures, media, and technique will give you different results. If you're blasting an aluminum part, and most everybody that's ever blasted aluminum can attest to this, you get what we call hot spotting. It's where you have an inconsistent finish on your part. You may have one area that's shinier than the other or one area that's duller than another. This happens because of an inconsistent blasting pattern. When you're blasting a part, you kind of want to do it like you're spray painting. You just want to go across the part and then come back the other way and just slightly overlapping as you're blasting. That being said, glass bead and aluminum is where you'll get hot spotting. You won't really hot spot using an aluminum oxide, but again, you don't want to use aluminum oxide on an aluminum part unless you're looking for a very dull and matte finish or you're planning on painting it afterwards. That being said, the pressure that you actually blast with can make a difference too. Higher pressures, you're not really gonna damage the part, but you may take it beyond the point that you can back it off. When somebody is asking about pressures for parts, I usually tell them start at a lower pressure and work your way up. It's easier to do it that way. If you start high and try to work down, it may create an issue with you. So somewhere when you're setting your pressure gauge, probably about 40 PSI to start with, and you can actually take this up to 100 PSI if you need to, but it's better to actually blast apart at a lower pressure first and then start working your way up. And in the reverse side of that, if you're using a glass bead on aluminum, you can actually blast it at you know 40 to 80 PSI and then you can turn this all the way down to zero and go back over the part. When you turn it back down to zero, you're basically running just off pump pressure and that will actually help brighten up that part while you're finishing it. 